I'm here down for your Blackpool Illuminations 2022 vlog now. Hello everybody, me Sam as well, trying to more here back on the vlog. And I'm here down for your Blackpool Illuminations 2022 vlog now. I've been coming to the Illuminations pretty much every year since 2018 now. So uh, we're starting down at the Fraser Beach. We're actually, I'm going to do the opposite to what I did last year. I'm heading back towards Bristol this year, because that's nearer to where we're staying. But um, Fraser Beach, we're going to have a look at this waterfall to down here to start off with. There goes the tram. Oh. Worth notions the trams to Fleetwood only have half an hour during the illumination because they terminate the area at Little Bispam most of the time because of the uh, because they want to get a more frequent service in the centre section. So yes, we're, we're about to go see them. It's a shame though because if I just bring you guys round, not sure if you can tell, down there is the big one, but unfortunately it's not lit up at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. But anyway, let's go and have a look at the uh, waterfall illumination and then we're going to head up towards Bispam, stopping by and showing you guys all the illuminations. So by the way guys, this is the Pressure Beach illumination stop and uh, this is where you can get some of the heritage trams, including the two illumination tours, which is the uh, boat tram and also the tram train. Right, we're going to show you the waterfall illuminations and then I'm heading back up towards tower. I'm going to jump on the tram and walk bits of it as well. This is the first one and as you can see, there, it's actually got a water fountain feature. It has got. I'm hoping the wind doesn't interfere with quite a lot of this vlog. Hang on. The um, flying um, machines are it up. Sometimes you might not be able to believe it in the illumination because I was waiting for one down by Central last year and it said it was in one minute, it didn't show up for another 10 minutes. So hopefully it won't be too long for the next tram to take us back up to Tower. We've got the suity one now. <laughs> I like the ones of the tower. Yeah.
know where you guys will have to like the video because look at all the uh, things to do to get you guys to get out of the wind and the snow. Rains eased off a bit, thankfully. We've headed up closer to Bisper now. We've got the Rover Avenue, however, the how you pronounce the uh, tram stop we did. And we're just down by the Seasons, where I've just got some shots of them. And then we're going to head back up there towards Bisper and give you guys the full tour of this main area. We are. So, by the way, guys, they are they've got little stools like on the promenade selling uh, little light ups. I'm not sure how much they're going to be, probably quite expensive, but there's another bloke on the corner down there selling some. Take a picture of that. No, Noddy's not get up that much. Right, new for 2022. We've got the Women's World Cup lionesses. They are. Is it? Was it? Was it the World Cup? European. That's it. They're down there, all across. So let's take a picture of them. There they are. And let's move on. Ah, oh, it's not going to focus. Oh! No. Damn it! Yeah. Alice in Wonderland. So guys, as well, they do have donation points at the, uh, um, on the Bisbum end of the illumination. Oh, another tram. They're quite frequent in this section. Um, and we did actually donate two pounds because obviously we've got the cost of living and energy crisis this year as well. So it is quite difficult for them to run these lights if for a four month period as well. So we did actually make a two pounds donation and I would highly recommend to donate on the donation booths guys because obviously all the money raised they, they do help uh, like with the maintenance of the illuminations etc etc so I would recommend donating just even a pound will do
go up to Dr. Who in a minute. There's the, there's the tram, tram again, tram train again. I'm allowed to get a bit of the police box. They said Blackpool Pressure Beach, Blackpool Zoo and Tower. Right, almost to end the Illuminations tour, we do have the, the uh, Queen's Crowns. These were actually for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and then since obviously the start of the illuminations, the Queen did actually sadly pass away. So rest in peace, Her Majesty the Queen. I'm gonna get a picture, but they are stunning, the crowns. Right, it is editing some here because uh, I've just edited the uh, Blackpool Illuminations vlog and found out that past Sam didn't record an outro when he got back to the caravan. So future Sam, two months later, is do the outro for him. So I really do hope you enjoyed this vlog of the Blackpool Illuminations. It's an annual tradition now, basically, to go to see the Blackpool Illuminations. So hopefully... It probably will be done next year as well in 2023. So I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you want to become a member for some more exclusive perks and behind the scenes and whatnot, you can do the join button down there. Completely optional though, but very much appreciated. And also if you enjoyed this video, like the video, comment down below some comments and feedback will be appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because 50% of you guys that watch aren't subscribers. So it would really help me out if you did subscribe. It is free and free to subscribe. And if you're new, consider doing so. And have the bell for all notifications so you never miss future videos or live streams. Right, take care folks. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye you guys. Peace out.